Hi. Hi guys. Day has finally come where I do what I said I was going to do a few weeks ago. And that is plan seven days worth of outfits. I am someone who really struggles for some reason to make outfits that I really, really like. I'm not someone who can just throw stuff together and it magically looks nice. And so because of that, I tend to like find an outfit I like and then I just wear it for a week straight. And what better way to fix that than to plan outfits in advance. So yeah, I thought that could be quite fun. I'm gonna look at Pinterest for inspiration and just experiment a little bit and yeah. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so this is, doesn't count as one of the outfits. This is what I'm wearing today, but honestly, kind of cute. I got this cardigan from a vintage store and look at the grapes. They're 3D, they're so cute. Cause I saw this and I was like, okay, this is really on the border of like cute and grandma. And I feel like it really depends on how I wear this. But I saw this and I was like, first of all, really fun. Secondly, can't you just see me walking around Rome in this? Can't you just see me in like my Tuscan villa sipping wine in this? Cause I can, and that's what's gonna happen. I'm manifesting. I bought this purely to manifest my perfect Italian summer. And then I just got this, this little tank top. I just got it on sale in Urban. And then these jeans, um, they're from Whistles. They're flared at the bottom. So they're not skinny, because I hate skinny jeans. Um, they're just perfect. Anyway, enough about that. It's kind of irrelevant. For the next outfit, this is kind of cheating because I did come up with this outfit a few weeks ago and real ones who follow my Instagram have already seen it. But for those of you that haven't, um, I wanted to, where is it? I wanted to, I found this in my, wardrobe clear out video and I was like really mad because I had never found a way to pair this right and I found a way to do it and I think I did a pretty good job not going to lie so let me just get changed okay so this is the the base I got these very baggy low-waisted jeans from Motel Rocks which are the best jeans in the world honestly like I never find low-waisted baggy jeans that aren't tight on my thighs or aren't actually low-waisted or just weird these are perfect 10 out of 10 recommend and now you put this on top my reasoning for wearing the low-waisted baggy jeans is because this is got like a straight fit to it it flows really nicely into the same like silhouette as the jeans so as you can see it just looks so cute with the t-shirt. And then, oh, you're not ready. You're not ready. I got these cute little loafers from Cezanne and they match the top. So now like the blue and the orange is a bit mismatched, even though they do technically go together because of color theory, but the loafers really balance it all out. And I just think I really popped off with this outfit. But yeah, she did that. She did that. Okay, I'm currently on Pinterest trying to find some inspiration. At the moment, I'm really into like very casual, understated looks. Kind of like, you know the phrase that, um, what's the phrase? So basically like wealth whispers. That, that idea where when you're classy, you don't have to put in that much effort. It's just like, I just threw this on and I just look good and I look cool. That's what I'm into. I used to wear so much like loud clothes, which, you know, I, it still has its place even now for me, but I just, I'm just really into quite understated style at the moment. So a lot of that is like quite a Parisian aesthetic. It's kind of, you know, the cool girl, she's relaxed. She wears like 800 pound shoes, you know what I'm saying? Like that, for example, that's so cute. Miss Kendall Jenner over here. Say what you will about Kendall, I don't really have an opinion, but I really think her style is like, that's quite cute with the cardigan and the trousers. Honestly, I feel like I could recreate this. Should we recreate this? I think I have, I have the same kind of crop jeans. I have so many cardigans, babes. You're gonna be seeing a lot of cardigans in this video. Cardigans are my go-to at the moment. I just, oh, I 
I just love cardigans. So let's see what I got. These jeans from Suzanne, they're high-waisted, baggy, and cropped. And then I got a lot of cardigans. So which one should we go for? I think in the photo, it was a bit of a tighter. Because I have, I have cardigans like this, which are very baggy. Actually, I've got an idea. Let's just try something. What I'm thinking is, right, she's got these really cute little pumps on. I never was into these type of shoes. I thought they looked really granny-y, but I got some from Flabulous, who kindly gifted them to me. Let me show you. <laughs> Look how cute these are. Mine broke. <laughs> so, I'm pretty sure that's my fault. But aren't they just so sweet? So I'm thinking this color will actually go really well with that. Okay, let's try it. Okay. So this is the Cardi, which is so cute. And then we got these jeans, which obviously you can't see very well because I have a tiny flat and can't get a full thing of my body. You can see they're a little bit cropped. I think they're literally called Le Crop. And then I can't wear shoes in the flat. I'm just gonna have to picture it, imagine it, imagine it. Imagine. Honestly, class. And, and again, imagine me walking around the streets of Rome in this. Uh. Ciao! Uh, I actually don't know any Italian. Ciao! Nope, I don't. I thought something was gonna come to me, it didn't. If I wanted to just dress it, because this is very casual, right? It's just like, oh, I just threw it up. Got the little French tuck. What you can do with low necklines is add a cute little necklace. I have this really cute locket, which I found in a vintage store because it's like a plunging neckline. Just fill it up with some gold jewelry, put in some gold hoops, and then it's still classy, but it's understated, you know? It's just like, oh, I just slipped this on. I didn't even think about it. I just, I just chucked it on. <sighs> Do you want to see what's in my locket? It's actually so cute. See if I can... <laughs> Do I have to be out of the frame? Okay, that's as good as we're gonna get. You can see it's Harry and my sister. It's so cute. I'm quite happy with that, guys. This is fun. Okay, let's look at Pinterest again. All right, what else we got? Keep in mind it's spring, so we can't really go for something like this, even though I love it. Guys, you know what I really, really, really want, but I will not get because I'm a responsible person with and good with my money, but I've been eyeing up the Mason Margiela Tabby Ballet Shoes. Oh, and they do a limited edition color in this like baby blue, and I did go try it on, not because I was gonna buy it, but because I just needed to experience wearing them. And I tried on the Mason Margiela Tabby Mary Janes. Oh, I don't care. I don't care if you want to say they look like horseshoe, horse, what are they called? Hooves. I don't care. For me, they are so fucking cute and gorgeous. And like, just imagine wearing them with just like jeans. You got like cute little jumper on. Ugh. So good. Ooh. I do actually have a dress like this. Should we try on a dress? Should we wear a dress this week? Should we go for a vintage look? Let's do that. I have this cute little dress. I got this from a vintage stand in Portobello Market. And I put this on and I was like showing Alec, my friend Alec and Harry. And I was like, what do you guys think? And they were like, you look like a waitress. You look like you work in a diner. You look like a nurse. And honestly, to them I say, you are just haters. You are just haters because I look so good in this. And this with my Corel Mary Janes. I had to ask my mum, my dad, family members all to chip in for me to get those shoes because I just wanted them so much. They're like stupidly expensive, but they're just so cute. And the way I justified it in my head is that they are the original Mary Janes. Like they're the first company to ever do Mary Janes and they did a really good job. And you know how I was saying I was going for that Parisian aesthetic? How can I do that without those shoes? So this and those shoes, we're gonna try it on. Let's see what we got. I love this dress, I love it. It did come with a little belt, but I think it looks a lot better without the belt. And yes, I do get where they're coming from where they said I look like a waitress. And I still love it. I still love this dress so much. And now, let me show you the shoes. Ah, oh, they're so good. Ah! Can I take your order, please? Okay, guys. 
guys, we're fucking flying through this, aren't we? Ooh, this just reminded me. I got a cute little summer dress that I wanted to try and wear. I don't have a trench coat and I don't have big boots, but let's just try and style the summer dress. Da -da -da -da. Look how pretty this dress is. I just thought it fits so well. I think the design is really, really flattering. Can't wait to wear this in the summer, just like this. But we're gonna need to style it with like a cardigan or something because it is not that warm yet. I honestly think this cardigan's probably the best option. I know that we just wore it. See how just like cute and relaxed that is? I'm just like, hey, I'm just popping down to go cycle and pick up some fresh peaches from the town. You know what I mean? And then it pairs so cute with this. I do have a blue version of this cardigan. Hmm, maybe it does work, I don't know. I mean, I think it does work, but like it's on the border. I feel like the cream one works a lot better. That's another outfit. Hmm. I've had this picture, the, the girl on the, there. I don't know if it's left or right for you. I've had her on this board for so long because I just thought it was so cute. The shirt and the mini skirt and the vest. I do have a vest and I do have a shirt and I do have a mini skirt. We can try it. We can try it, we can try it. Okay, got my little skirt on. That's from Zara. And then this white shirt's from Thomas Pink. This is cute, but I feel like it's giving, like, trying to rebel when you're wearing a school uniform. I don't know. This is the thing, like, I really like preppy stuff, but I feel like sometimes it borders on looking like a school uniform or, like, an office outfit. Let me see if I can find a vest. I've got this vest, which is um, a bit funky, isn't it? I don't think this is gonna work. I'm not sure this works. I feel like there's, there's a lot going on. You know, hypothetically, I could maybe balance it with these so that it was a bit less crazy, but yeah, I do feel like there's too much happening. Uh, you know what I could do, now stay with me, is pair it with a cardigan. Yeah, it doesn't work with this cardigan because the neckline's really wide compared to the shirt. Let me just see what it looks like if I unbutton it. I just feel like it's just, it just looks so school uniform. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wait a second. This is the exact same cardigan in brown, but I'm wondering if it might just work a bit better because the colors are gonna stay the same. So I just do this. Mommy's about to pick me up from the golf course. How did I do that so wrong? My name's Petunia. Wait, but I feel like I'm actually onto something. Imagine it with my brown loafers. This is kind of cute though. Like, uh, this was a joke, but like, I'm kind of rocking it. You know what I mean? Like, let me just quickly see what it looks like actually on. Maybe that does look good. <laughs> High five. See what happens when I don't freak out and I don't just end up wearing the same jeans and t-shirt? We make magic. Ooh, find more ideas. Okay, thank you. Okay, actually, I know what to do. I found a way to wear this skirt the other day, which I think, I think I did a pretty good job. Because I'm lazy, I'm not gonna put on the whole thing, but I wore this long navy top, which is a Skims dupe, but it's by a much better brand called Nippy Studios, who I love. It just sucks you in, it's honestly like so, 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 so nice. So I wore that underneath because this is low-waisted, so I needed there to be like no skin gap. When I wore this cropped jumper slash cardigan, this is from, let's take a guess, it's from Suzanne. It's so cute. I wore this with my chunky dock loafers and I got so many compliments on it. Like everyone kept saying that it looked like a Mew Mew outfit and I was like, ah. Right, let's look on Pinterest. Oh, you know what? Let's look at what else could I take inspiration from? Okay, you know what we could do? We could give ourselves a challenge for the last one. I got this skirt from Damson Matter. And when I first got it, when I, it got sent to me, I was like, this is really cute. It's got like these fun little details, but I haven't worn it in a really long time because I've just found it really difficult to style the color. Let me see if I can make this work. That's gonna be my last challenge of the day, of the video. So we got a black tag top on and my reasoning for this is that these stripes are black. 
so we got black. We could either pair it with these, just to make it like a bit more casual, or we got my dark loafers, which I feel like is probably the better option. How do we style this? We could try and do a cardigan. That's always an option, isn't it? I have this really nice cardigan from Bowden. I really like the neckline of it, and I love the sleeves. I just don't know if it looks a bit frumpy. Do I need to tuck it in? Like, I just don't feel like that's gonna look good. You know what? I actually don't mind that. I don't mind that. We'll go with this. This kind of works. Okay. Nice. Now I've got to <laughs> clean up this mess. Okay, well, that was pretty easy and fun. Thank you guys for watching. Please let me know any suggestions of videos that you'd like to see. It's always so, 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 so helpful. And yeah, I love you. Thank you for watching. Mwah.